If you are looking to provide pre-recorded lecture content to your students, you may choose to use Panopto to create lessons that you can embed in your course. To enable Panopto in your course, go to Settings. Select the Navigation tab. In the Navigation menu, everything in the top portion has been enabled and is visible to students while everything in the bottom portion is currently disabled and not available to students in your course. If you have not used Panopto before, you will find Panopto recordings in this disabled list. You can enable Panopto recordings by clicking and dragging it up to the top portion, or by clicking the three dots next to Panopto recordings to get the enable drop-down option. Then you'll see it move up to the enabled items list. Remember to scroll down and press save to retain your changes. When your changes have been saved, you will find Panopto recordings on your course menu. Now, by selecting Panopto recordings on your course menu, you have created a folder under the course name for your recordings to live in on the Panopto server. If this is your first time enabling and selecting Panopto in this course, this is an important step. In order to now record with Panopto, you will have to install the software. This is because Panopto needs a software recorder in order to capture the screen, your camera, and any audio that you provide. If you are using an SU-issued Mac computer, you can search for the self-service app, which you can use to download certain applications, including Panopto. You can find the self-service app in your applications folder. After opening it, use the search bar to search for Panopto. Then click Install under the Panopto icon. Next, follow the prompts to finish the installation. If you are not using an SU computer, and instead are using a personal computer, you can still download Panopto by selecting the Create button within your course. After next selecting Record a New Session, the Windows and Mac installers for Panopto will be available to download directly from this menu. If you already have Panopto installed, you can simply select Launch Panopto and open the Panopto Recorder. You can also launch the Panopto Recorder by selecting Panopto from the Applications folder. If you open Panopto this way, you'll need to sign in. You should be prompted to sign into My Classes Canvas. By doing so, you will have access to all of your My Classes folders to record or save your Panopto videos into. These folders will only be present for courses where you have already enabled and selected Panopto within the course. Select Create a New Recording to get started. Make sure the correct folder is selected. Then go ahead and change the title of the recording to match your lecture or the topic of discussion for the video. When choosing your settings for your Panopto video, you have a few options. You have both primary and secondary sources to choose from. You can choose to record your face as your primary source by selecting the FaceTime HD or another webcam from the video drop-down menu. You can also select none if you don't wish to record your face. You can also select the built-in display to record your screen as either your primary or secondary source allowing you to record both the FaceTime HD camera and built-in display simultaneously. Please note that if you attempt to make the built-in display your primary source, but it is already selected as your secondary, the option will be grayed out. You must first select None for the secondary, which will then free up the built-in display and allow it to be selected as your primary source. You can also use Panopto to record and narrate PowerPoints. This can be done one of two ways. 
If you do not plan on recording your face with the PowerPoint, select None from the video drop-down menu. Otherwise, select the webcam of your choice. Then select the checkbox next to Record PowerPoint. This method will only record your PowerPoint when the PowerPoint is in presentation mode. Select the Record button to get Panopto started, and your computer may ask you for permission to access and control PowerPoint, at which you should say Allow or Yes. Then go ahead and find and open your PowerPoint, select Presentation Mode, and begin. This method is useful for making sure only the PowerPoint is getting recorded. But this method will not record animations, embedded videos, or the computer's cursor if you would like to use it to direct your viewer's attention towards certain things. If your PowerPoint does include one of these things, you should avoid selecting the Record PowerPoint checkbox and instead select the built-in display as one of your sources. After selecting your source, you will select the Record button, minimize Panopto, and open your PowerPoint. You can then go into presentation mode and begin to narrate. If you at any time need to pause your recording, bring Panopto back up and select the pause button. You will notice that the timer for the video keeps running. That's because Panopto continues to record when you pause, in case you forget to hit the resume button when you return. These recordings are not automatically placed in your final video, but can be added by use of Panopto's editing feature. When you are ready to resume, select Resume. And when your video is finished, select Stop. You will be presented with a screen that lets you choose whether to upload, delete and record again, as well as name or rename your video before uploading. After selecting Upload, you will proceed to a screen revealing recent recording takes as well as a progress bar for your current upload as it processes. These videos are stored online on the Panopto server, saving you hard drive space and embedding directly into your course. By returning to My Classes, you can see that the video has made it to your course. As soon as it is finished processing, it can be viewed. You also have the option to upload videos taken elsewhere, whether from your phone or another camera or even from a previous course. By selecting Create and then selecting Upload Media, you can drag and drop files or select the Choose Files icon to search your computer and upload your video content.